Welcome to the presentation on age word problems. Let's get started. Well, I already have one written down here. It says, in four years, Ali will be three times as old as he is today. How old is Ali today? Well, let's just say that X, X, that's a little too big for what I want to write. X equals Ali's current age, or his age today. Please forgive my handwriting. If X is Ali's current age, and here we say in four years. So how old is Ali going to be in four years? Well, if X is his current age in four years, he's going to be X plus four years old. So that is equal to Ali's age, age in four years. Let's read what other information there's a problem with. It says, in four years, so in this situation, that's a four, x plus four, in four years, Ali will be three times as old as he is today. Well, today he's x. So we say, in four years, x plus four, and that's just, so in four years, so we could translate that into x plus four, that's going to equal three times as old as he is today. Well, we know today he's x, so that's going to be equal to 3x. And now we just solve for x. Subtract x from both sides. You get 2x is equal to 4. x equals 2. So Ali is two years old today. Let's do another problem. And that makes sense, because if he's two today, in four years he's going to be six, which is going to be three times as old as he is today. So it all works out. Let's do another problem. Let's clear this, and now I'm going to attempt to type. I hope I don't mess up. OK. The problem is, Nazareth is four years old older than Umama. Two years ago, Nazareth was five times as old as Umama. How old is Nazareth today? Ah, this one, this one seems more difficult. But I think we'll be able to get through it. Let's figure it out. All right. So once again, what were we trying to solve for? We're trying to solve for Nazareth today. So let's say this is Nazareth. We'll say Naz for short. And let's say this is Umama. And this is today. I'm making a little chart. And let's say four years from now. Four, oh no, no, not four years from now. I'm, I'm confusing myself. This would be two years ago. I'm still remembering the last problem. Two years ago. Okay, so this was today, two years into the future. Let me make a little chart. It's not the cleanest chart, but I think it'll do the job. Okay, so we're trying to solve for x. How old is Nasr today? So let's just say Nas today that is equal to x. It says Nazareth is four years older than Umama. So this piece of information up here, let me underline it. Nazareth is four years older than Umama. Well, that piece of information tells us that Umama today, if Nazareth is x, then Umama is going to be x minus 4, which makes sense, because Naz is four years older than Umama. Now we go into the past. Let's write, let's look at this. So two years ago, so if Nas is x today, how old was she two years ago? Well, she was going to be x minus 2. That makes sense. If I'm 10 years old today, two years ago I'll be two years less. So I'd be 8 years old. So she's x today, two years ago she was x minus 2. And if Umama is x minus 4 today, then two years ago she'll be two less than that. So she'll be x minus 4 minus 2. And that equals x minus 6, which makes sense. And notice that she is still four years younger than Naz, or Nazareth. 
Now we have one final piece of information in this problem. It says, two years ago, Nazareth was five times as old as Umama. So we're in this situation. Two years ago, that's what the sentence says, two years ago, so it's this situation, Nazareth was five times as old as Umama. So Nazareth, which is x minus 2, was five times older than Umama, which is x minus 6. So let's just write that down. So Nazareth, two years ago, was x minus 2. We get that from the chart. Nazareth was x minus 2 two years ago. And that sentence tells us Nazareth was five times older than Umama was two years ago. And Umama two years ago was x minus 6. Well, now we just solve for x. x minus 2 is equal to 5x minus 30. Now we could subtract x from both sides, and we could get 4x. I'm going to switch it around, too, to hopefully confuse you more. 4x minus 30 equals minus 2. And then we get 4x is equal to 28. And x is equal to 7. So we solve the problem. Nazareth today is 7 years old. And does this make sense? Well, if Nazareth today is 7 years old, then Umama today is going to be 3 years old. And that makes sense because there's a 4 year difference. 2 years ago, Nazareth was 5 years old. And 2 years ago, Umama was only 1 year old. Right? Because x minus 6. So it makes sense. Nazareth is 4 years older than Umama. Nazareth is 7. Umama is 3 right now. Two years ago, Nazareth was five times as old as Umama. Two years ago, Nazareth was five, and Umama was one. So it all works out pretty neat, no? Well, anyway, I think you're ready to at least try some of these age problems, and I'm going to do some more example problems so you can, you can come back to this, uh, this uh, video page and, and see more if, if you're still a little bit confused. Have fun. Let me uh, turn this thing off. Okay. <laughs>